Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Boulfat. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely. The cabinet welcomed the work of the Supreme Council for Women on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day, emphasizing the need to continue pursuing greater women's advancements across all sections of society. The cabinet praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's directives to provide Formula One tickets to frontline health workers and their families in recognition of their incredible contributions to Bahrain's COVID-19 response. The cabinet then commended Team Bahrain's success in hosting the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2020 during such unprecedented circumstances. The cabinet discussed youth empowerment programs following the 2020 Youth Summit and directed the creation of a task force to assess its recommendations and integrate them into government programs. The cabinet welcomed Bahrain's recent success in achieving five different Arab government excellence awards underlining the importance of further enhancing service excellence in line with citizens' aspirations. The cabinet praised the role and efforts of the Coast Guard in protecting maritime borders, noting the restraints and professionalism demonstrated by Bahrain's Coast Guard personnel during the uh, interception of two Bahraini Coast Guard vessels by Qatari Coast and Border Security Patrol vessels in the territorial waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain, as outlined in the, settlement, in the statements issued by the Legislative Authority. In this regard, the Cabinet welcomed the statements of the Council of Representatives at the Shura Council, whilst affirming the need to respect applicable laws, international norms and relevant agreements, and to refrain from actions that threaten security and peace in the Arabian Gulf region. The Cabinet extended the Kingdom's best wishes to the UAE on the occasion of their 49th National Day. A number of memorandums and proposed laws were discussed during the meeting, and the Cabinet outlined the following outcomes. Firstly, the approval of the following memorandums, a memorandum from the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training regarding the development of the education sector, including restructuring the Ministry of Education's work into two sectors, the first to oversee policy, strategy and performance, and the second to oversee school affairs in order to enhance the education system and educational services in public schools. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the amendment of legal provisions related to associations, social and cultural clubs and private entities operating within the youth and sports sector. The memorandum aims to increase revenues within the aforementioned sector. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs to improve regulations associated with youth centers and youth empowerment programs. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the financial autonomy of primary health care centers and public hospitals. A memorandum from the Ministry of Finance and National Economy regarding a proposal to participate in the United Nations Road Safety Fund UNRSTF. And a memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs regarding government responses to five proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. Secondly, the Cabinet reviewed the following topics, a memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects regarding efforts to reduce building violations in cities and residential areas across the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa warmly praised those involved in hosting a successful Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix at the Bahrain International Circuit, the BIC, and expressed immense pride in the innovation and endeavor of Bahrainis who continue to support the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted that the continued success of the BIC in organizing and hosting this year's race, despite the exceptional challenges presented by COVID-19 came as a direct result of the skill and efforts of the Kingdom's event organizers, medical professionals, military and security personnel and government agencies. Together, they ensured that all health and precautionary measures were safely adhered to and guaranteed to a successful international race. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister congratulated the winners of the race and expressed gratitude to the participating teams for the outstanding performances 
competitiveness and enthusiasm on display at the BIC, the home of motorsports in the Middle East. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2020 has attracted widespread international attention and recognition due to the success of the event, notwithstanding the global pandemic. His Royal Highness who highlighted that this year's race was made particularly special by the attendance of frontline health workers, first responders and their families as a sincere gesture of gratitude and appreciation for their tireless efforts in mitigating the spread of the virus and safeguarding the kingdom's citizens and residents. His Royal Highness conducted concluded by reiterating his appreciation for the national efforts made by frontline heroes, wishing them continued success in performing their duties and safeguarding all in the kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa over Bahrain's hosting of the of the Formula One Grand Prix. His Highness expressed pride and appreciation for the distinguished role of His Royal Highness Prince Salman in realizing this success through keen follow-up of the preparation process. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that Bahrain and its caterers have succeeded in the organizing efforts which affirm its capacity to host such events at the highest level and its place as the motor racing hub in the Middle East. He added that Bahrain has much to gain from hosting the race, including attracting the world's media positive attention, and affirmed that the Grand Prix has been admired and appreciated by observers and participants thanks to the level of professional of safety that was on the on offer in the kingdom. 
the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Azhana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the kingdom has become a model to be emulated in urging the international community, the youth, and the organization of the civil society to provide the best solutions and initiatives that would help implement the goals of sustainable development. He noted that the kingdom has carried out its international duties in this field through the launch of the King Hamad Award for Youth Empowerment to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, the KHA SDGs. He added that this award is considered the first of its kind in the world to urge the international community to give young people the opportunity to present ideas and projects that contribute to achieving the goals of the United Nations. His Highness highlighted the success of the award in its third edition in light of the wide participation by various groups of the community with a total of 4,064 projects and initiatives presented from over a hundred countries. He stated that the kingdom's insistence on continuing the award and linking its objectives with support for the sectors affected by the pandemic that are vital for sustainable development affirms the commitment of Bahrain towards achieving the UN goals of sustainable development. His Highness noted that the previous edition of the award received many distinguished and pioneering ideas and projects that contributed to the implementation of distinguished international programs in the field of sustainable development. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Azhana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain national basketball team's qualification for the Asia Cup proves the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on offering the greatest amount of support for sports, which allows national teams to perform at the best possible level. His Highness said that the national team has made an important achievement on the level of the Asian continent thanks to the determination and and the sense of responsibility among its athletes. He added that the efforts of the athletes and the sporting and administrative staff have resulted in this achievement and that preparing for the cup reflects the progress that Bahraini basketball has made. His Highness praised the efforts of the National Basketball Federation under the leadership of Walid Al Alawi in creating the ideal environment for this national achievement. The Representatives Council Speaker Fozi Zainal affirmed the Council's keenness on implementing the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to serve the citizens and the homeland and to coordinate with the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in discussing the state's general budget for the two fiscal years 2021 and 22, while prioritizing the maintenance of the interests of the kingdom and its citizens amid the exceptional circumstances and inflicted by the pandemic. She expressed confidence in realizing the joint national vision of the executive and legislative authorities when discussing the general budget according to a legal and legislative framework while maintaining social support for unprivileged citizens with a commitment to achieving the objectives of the fiscal balance program with an increase in non-oil revenues in a way that achieves the desired goals and preserves the rights of citizens. Zainal had met today with the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Shura and Representatives Council Affairs, Ghana bin Fadl Bouainin, the Under Secretary of Financial Affairs at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Yusuf Abdullah Mahmoud, with the participation of the First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Abdul Nabi Salman, the Second Deputy Speaker of the Council, Ali Ahmed Zayed, the Chairman of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, Mahmoud Makhil Bahrani, and the Deputy Chairman of the Committee, Ali Mohammed Ishaqi. Zainal received the details of the draft law for the state general budget for the two fiscal years 2021 and 2020. Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawzia Zainal made a statement marking the Bahraini Women's Day 2020 themed Bahraini women in the diplomatic field. The speaker commended the efforts made by the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to apply the royal directives in the field of women's empowerment. She has stressed that the steady progress made by Bahraini women across various fields reveals the efforts made to enrich the kingdom's record of achievements 
and giving thanks to the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She pointed out that the Comprehensive Development March spearheaded by His Majesty the King has given women a distinguished status, making them essential partners to men in the nation building and development process. The speaker praised the great support of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to all women related national efforts, initiatives, and visions since the launch of His Majesty the King's reform project. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, affirmed that the draft of the state's general budget for the two fiscal years 2021 to 2022 is a priority for the legislative authority to realize the interests of the country and the people. He noted that the Shura Council aims to support the economy and public services while continuing the programs of sustainable development in cooperation with the Representatives Council and the esteemed government. As-Salah made the statement after meeting the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Shura and Representatives Council Affairs, Ghanem bin Fadl al Bu'ainin, the Under Secretary of Financial Affairs at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Yusuf Abdullah Hamoud, with the participation of the Chairman of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee of the Council, Khalid Hussain Al Masqati, and the Committee's Deputy Chairman, Rada Abdullah Faraj. As Salah had received the draft law to approve the state's general budget for the two fiscal years 2021 to 22. As Salah valued the continuous cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities, which is based on prioritizing the interests of the homeland and the people and achieving the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain. He affirmed that the upcoming phase calls for further cooperation and coordination to overcome the challenges imposed by the pandemic. As Saleh directed the Council's Financial and Economic Affairs Committee to study the state's general budget project in order to reach the best results in line with the economic vision of the Kingdom of Bahrain 2030 and the government's work program. The Deputy President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, headed the Bahrain delegation to the meeting of the GCC Olympic Committees as delegated by the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, which was held virtually, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali conveyed the regards of His Highness Sheikh Khalid and expressed thanks and appreciation to the UAE for hosting the present round of the Council session. His Highness Sheikh Isa said that in light of the exceptional circumstances of the present moment, there must be a redoubling of the efforts to carry the Gulf sports process forward as per the relevant health guidelines in order to further deepen the fraternal ties between the Gulf countries as per the royal directives. His Highness expressed pride in Bahrain's presiding over the upcoming session of the Council and affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on carrying the GCC's work further in the sports sector as per the aspirations of the presidents of the Olympic Councils and the athletes in each country. The 2020 Bahrain GP is going to be remembered for more than just Romain Gorjan's incredible escape. The one-of-its-kind Formula One event was made extra special as the spectator seats were filled with frontline healthcare workers, first responders and their families as a sincere appreciation of their tireless efforts and incredible contribution, commitment and service to the nation. Despite the difficult, uncertain and challenging circumstances, the Kingdom perceivers show and showcase the best of Bahrain, which was made possible through the skill and effort of the organizers in putting precautionary measures in place and making this year's event a success. The Kingdom takes pride in the high level of readiness and the accompanying efforts focused on protecting the health of citizens and residents while still delivering and hosting the Formula One events above expectations. This is a very incredible gesture. Uh, actually, it's it compensates for all the time that we were not with our family. You know, this is the best gift that we give them. 
to make them happy, to compensate for all the time that you are away. Thank you very much, Your Highness. I think we have forgotten all, all the tiredness, all the long nights, just because by me here. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to have a part of this uh, formal event. Actually, first time in my, our uh, uh, GCC life, we are seeing like nearby. Otherwise, we used to see live and all from home and all. Otherwise, so, like so, this is the really it's a wonderful experience for us to see like uh, nearby and uh, it's everything like uh, live only we are seeing. So, thank you so much for the hostels and giving us such an opportunity and provided the ticket also. I'm a frontline worker. I'm working now uh, COVID ICU. And like that, I got the opportunity. Thank you so much, and stay safe, everyone. Uh, I would like to thank the Crown Prince um, for this opportunity and for this great, um, you know, work done for the coronavirus and how um, the country's been taken care of. And um, my wife is a doctor, and she's been appreciated for this. Thank you very much. Very nice day to see everyone in the health center is he here. I really appreciate uh, the opportunity which have been given to the doctors to uh, to be here and present the full health center. Uh, and of course, thanks to the BIC and to the, uh, uh, to the Prince uh, for giving us this such opportunity to be here with my family and with everyone here. I think it was a very nice gesture uh, for the Formula One uh, to give us this opportunity for the families of the frontliners and I thank the government <laughs> for a change, especially that it has been hard for the kids more than us. <laughs> I appreciate what the government did for all the doctors um, and volunteers of course. Uh, we, we did everything, everything that our country needs for us. Um, it was a very nice experience and uh, if, they will, if they want to take even our souls, we will give them th that. I was working for the Ministry of Industry and the Inspection Department and this is an amazing, you know, I've never sat at the start line of the Grand Prix and, you know, thank you so much to the Crown Prince for recognising our effort in this way, it's been a pleasure. So happy to be here because um, um, I'm happy to see that everyone is appreciating doctors because um, they saved, um, they're basically saving Bahrain from Corona here in Bahrain. We are very happy to be here because uh, like we are looking forward to this time when we can really uh, appreciate uh, and we can just uh, because of our hard work which we did in the last eight months and uh, we are very uh, happy on this occasion that Bahrain government uh, um, appreciated our efforts and uh, we with our family is here today to celebrate our war against Corona. It's really, uh, I'm very happy to be here to honor the doctors and the frontliners. Um, uh, my wife is a doctor, my sister is a doctor also, so I'm just uh, we're very grateful to be here today. Thank you, Bahrain team. Thank you, Bahrain team. I'm really grateful for the work the frontliners have been doing for us. They have been doing an amazing job. They're very resilient. They don't stop at anything that comes their way. And they have uh, given us the opportunity to be in events like this. And the government has given us so much. It was such an amazing gesture to offer something like this for us. And I'm very grateful for that. It is such an honor and a pleasure to be here amongst the frontliners. Uh, the invitation uh, was um, uh, has warmed our hearts and uh, we're very happy and delighted. This is one of the things we get from the country, being expats in this country, but getting this kind of opportunity is really, really great. Uh, we never thought of, uh, like, we get uh, to come in Formula One just for the free because we are one of the first responders in Bahrain for the vaccine trial. So this is something that's very, very interesting for us and uh, we are really, really looking forward to having a great evening here today. Very happy to have our initiative to come with our Jumami truck. It's like our first mobile branch and to be part of Formula One appreciating our Team Bahrain frontliner. And uh, we're really sad to see Formula One without like uh, people coming but we're proud to appreciate our team who really help and uh, support Bahrain in this difficult time not only in Bahrain in the whole world but we are here to say thank you Bahrain team 
And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,469 with 192 recoveries, 142 registered new cases. 59 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 78 are contacts of active cases and 5 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.